there's a little bit more to a forehand drop than just placing the ball in the front forehand corner and taking all the pace off it. You need to work out just what sort of shot you're going to play, how you're going to strike with your racket towards the side wall or across the line of the ball, whether you can take the ball early or whether you have to wait till last minute to be able to take it. In this forehand drop series we show you three different types of drops with a complete method of how to play those shots. We also look at the priorities you set within your movement and your muscle control and how to actually get the best out of your drop shot. So the different types of drops vary dramatically as, as does the outcome. So your first option should be a no swing drop, in other words take your opponent's time away and that's the best way to go. After that you want to try and play a drop close to the side wall which is a tight drop shot so the ball finishes up on the side wall making it difficult for your opponent. If it's away from the side wall you play a standard drop where you cut the ball into the nick and last of all a last minute drop if you're in trouble and you need to merely just keep the ball in play. No matter what you do, no matter what kind of drop, you need to work on full control of your muscles at all times. That includes the steps on the way in. So as you step into the ball, you need to control your muscles. Is it best to go right foot or left foot when you're on full extension? We'll place two players overlaid one on top of the other to show you both moves and diagnose which is the best method. We take into account movement, the actual shot quality outcome and the amount of effort used to actually play the shot. The choices you make as you approach a ball, whether to take the ball early or whether to allow it to actually come down before you strike the ball, they all have a dramatic effect on the quality outcome of your shot. So it's up to you to be able to put yourself in the best possible position to make the drop as easy as possible and to gain a fantastic result. You need to vary your swing depending on where you are on the court. You can't just have one stock standard method to be able to play a straight short drop. By using the right method you'll be able to attack with a drop, playing a nice, crisp, clean, straight drop which finishes very short. Your movement in and out of shots becomes extremely important and it's not only the front foot which is actually um, very important to the whole setup of your shot. This back foot here where you plant the foot gives you the right amount of stride so if you can actually position that back foot in the right position you'll find your body will be in a wonderful position as you take your last step forward and strike the ball. As you come out the ability to kick up and float across the court means that you'll actually be able to pull out of your shot with very minimal effort and be in full control of your body at all times. Nice fluent movement and really really simple. So a good controlled forehand drop is an essential part to a balanced game. You need to make sure that you understand the different types of drops and what you can do with your racket to be able to finish the ball short. That will complement your movement and allow you to actually be really clean with your movement and really well balanced at all times. You need to also understand how you can actually train to actually improve that movement and make the most of the situations. And lastly you need to be able to identify. Identify when you need to do the work early to be able to get to the ball really early to be able to make the most of every single opportunity. So check out the 8 videos that accompany this intro video and you'll be amazed at just how much there is in, in playing a forehand drop. There's three different types of drops, all the different movements and the way to actually make the most out of your shot. And so to watch a well played forehand drop is a wonderful thing but to play a drop like this is even better. So with a little bit of work, a little bit of training, you too can do this. Hope yourselves. So.